This is video number 2500 and let me tell you something, this is one thunder of an accomplishment. And it deserves a little celebration. Now then, the first thing I will say is that the mission statement of this channel has not changed. I still provide free education to those people facing eviction, starvation, and bullying. One of the first things I will say though is that I don't stand there and give remedial skills like grammar, vocabulary, uh, remedial arithmetic. Why do I not do this? Mainly because it would consume a lot of my time. It's a lot harder to teach adults the very things that they should have learned when they were kids. And there are thousands if not millions of websites all across the internet that can teach them some of the same things. There's no reason for me doing this. They have free GED courses all over the internet and all over the world. Why would I spend so much time teaching those kind of remedial skills? It just, to me, it'd be a waste of my time. If eventually, if it comes down to it, I will, but I just don't have the kind of experience necessary to teach that kind of stuff. And even if I did, it would just take up so much time, it would take so many videos to do, it would be quite an undertaking for me. If I have to, I'll do it, but I'd rather not. Okay. Having said that, I just finished an 11-part documentary about a lot of information that apparently I have that these people who were commenting to me just simply don't have. Which amazes me because a lot of this information should have been common sense. Apparently not. So after making my presentation, these people watched this and I ended up losing a few subscribers. That happens sometimes. It's sad, but it's true. And I don't want to lose any subscribers, but for people like this, you know, that, that just happens. But the one thing I will not quit doing is finding videos with humongous, egregious errors and challenging them. Why? because of H.G. Wells, that's Herbert George Wells and the time machine. I see this every day. I see people, they have their smartphones, they're walking across the street, they're paying attention to the smartphone, and they are not paying attention to the traffic that's coming right at them. And one of these days you're going to read about somebody getting killed because they got hit by a car only because they were watching their smartphone instead of their car. I see this all the time. Okay, And I see this in grocery stores. Let me tell you something. When you're paying more attention to that smartphone than you are that clerk, that clerk could rip you off. not saying he will. I'm saying he can. After all, you're not paying attention to your grocery bill. You're not paying attention to the coupons he may not be taking off. You're not paying attention to see if the sales are going through the computer like they should. So you could be costing yourself hundreds if not thousands of dollars every year simply for the fact that you're paying more attention to that smartphone than that cashier at that checkout line. That's something you didn't know. These are the kind of things I'm trying to teach you on YouTube. Just about every one of my videos has some kind of a lesson in there if you really pay attention to what's going on. If you don't pay attention, you're hurting yourself. Even a rant video tends to have more information than what I've seen on, on YouTube lately. So no, when I see a video with, full of egregious errors, I'm going to address it. I know that offends some people, but I'm sorry. I don't want our society turning into the Eloy of the time machine. Read Herbert George Wells and his time machine and then compare it to our modern day society. You'll see that I have a valid point on this. So, it is getting close to back to school time. You're right, I need to do more Italian lessons. I need to do more Euclid Elements lessons. I need to do a lot of stuff. Now keep in mind that the material I'm covering is increasingly more difficult and I have to figure out some way for you guys to comprehend what I'm telling you. And that does take time. Especially since I work a 35 hour a week retail job. So, there you go. There you have it. 
I think I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because I tend to babble and the last thing I want to do on my 2500th video is babble about anything. So hopefully you guys are getting some education out of this. If you have any comments or questions, definitely leave them down here below. I am happy to answer them. The only reason why I block people is that they will stand there. They're not asking a question. They're not presenting me with a valid argument. They're just flat out trying to trash my channel and trying to shut me down. That's the difference. And then I have to block them. I don't want to, but they're going to play me. That's what they get. Anyway, hopefully I'll find some more nice people and we can get them properly trained and get them back to work. Let me tell you something. It is just as much to my advantage that these people go back to work as it is for them. Because when they get starved and they get evicted so many times, then they're coming to my doorstep and begging me for food, which brings a hardship to me and an embarrassment to them. So it's in our mutual interest to give them their jobs back. Okay. It benefits me and it benefits them if they go back to work. They make an income. They're not dependent on me anymore. There you go. So it works out for both of us. So there is as much benefit in me doing these videos as it is for them to learn from them. Alright. Again, I am once again babbling. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to cut this video short and sweet. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you to all my subscribers. And I'm glad I achieved all this. Alright. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.